Yeah, this was when his okay. card got mixed up. Uh, Mr. Softstall, I don't, didn't get a card. I wondered why. Yeah, somewhere there's one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had it. It was mixed in with the others by mistake. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, obviously my name uh, remains uh, Martin Hyde. Uh, interesting that we just heard that nobody else does this apart from up north. The last time I looked, we were actually south of the Mason-Dixon. Lots of just from the staff, which means justification. Um, this agenda item concerns the imposition of a new and significant extra tax on the taxpayers of the city of Sarasota. It is completely disingenuous to separate a seven million plus item on the city budget and to suggest that it now should be paid for with a new tax. There's a simple mechanism for increasing revenues per Commissioner Shelley Eddy there, um, which is to increase the millage rate, but that cause is too honest. Uh, it requires facing angry voters. So instead, what's being mooted is a backdoor way to get more money from taxpayers. It is completely irrelevant. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it is uh, completely irrelevant that it's stated as being for a quality of life service because one could make the same comments about all city services. What the staff is hoping is that by shrouding this tax grab in the guise of open spaces and smiling kids, that we'll forget that it's a tax, pure and simple, and an extra tax at that. You increased your expenses by 14% this year already, and now you're telling us that isn't enough? While we're talking about the Parks Department, I should remind you all of the inefficiency with which it's being run. By recent example of the transition from county to city operations, of which we had fully a year's notice. Since October the 1st, when the city took back the parks, it's been unable to charge credit cards for user fees, making Sarasota a place where you might not get a free lunch, but you can have free tennis at taxpayers' expense. If this happened at a commercial organisation, the manager responsible will be fired for cause immediately, but not apparently in the city of Sarasota, where the public information office bizarrely tried to spin this buffoonery as an opportunity for residents to sample the facilities for free. Perhaps this will catch on and we can expect Walmart to start giving stuff away for a couple of weeks and the hope will come back another time too. Such calamitous incompetence in our parks department is further underscored by the continuing farce of Bobby Jones, which is losing 50 grand a month of taxpayers' money. And we're told the only answer is to pony up 15 to $18 million more in an unsubstantiated hope that it will stem the losses, despite golf being a declining sport in recent decades all over the country. Be under no illusions that this is fooling anyone. Any commissioner voting to support this idea is voting for a second time this year to steal money out of the pockets of hard-working Sarasotans with a tax increase. Thank you. Thank you. Luke Hoss.